Hey everyone, for today's video I figured I would do a dedicated product review of the new Everglass Lip Dews from M Cosmetics. I don't normally do dedicated product reviews anymore, but since they sent me the full line, I figured I could swatch all of them and compare them and hopefully that would be helpful to someone out there. So let's talk about the claims. M Cosmetics says, get enchanted by the most nourishing, youthful lips you'll ever experience. Our super hydrating, lightweight serum gel hybrid envelops the lips in sheer lip perfecting smoothness and dewy shine. Discover ever so charming shades with formulas enriched with jojoba and rosehip seed oil for ultra smooth, never sticky wear. So the product highlights are, uh, it has a glass like shine in subtle lip perfecting shades. It's a lightweight gloss serum gel hybrid with the luxurious comfort of a balm. It's cruelty-free, vegan, hypoallergenic, and dermatologist tested, and it's formulated without gluten ingredients, parabens, PFOs, or PFAs. Got it. So let's start with the swatches. Here are the M Cosmetics lip dews from top to bottom. We have Lullaby, Enchant, Dream, Tea, Secret, and Temptress. Lullaby, Enchant, Dream, Tea, Secret, and Temptress. So they're all the swatches, I hope that was helpful. Now let's talk about the formula and texture and if I agree with their claims. So I'm gonna put one on again. Hmm, I'm in a nude lip mood, so I'm gonna go for the shade Lullaby. And before I apply it, I just wanna show you some inconsistencies with the applicator. So I think this is what they're supposed to look like. This is the shade Lullaby. But here's the shade T, and you can see that the applicator is just pretty much entirely straight and there's no angle. So when I wanna apply it to my lips, it's really easy to get the bottom lip, but then when I apply it to the top, it's so straight that it just like pokes me with the top. And so you kind of would have to go like this to get the product. And it's really, really hard and stiff plastic. So it doesn't like hug your lips. It just feels like I'm like poking my lip with plastic. It's not the best experience, but obviously that was just probably an issue with this one. This is the shade Dream. And this one also has that same issue with it being almost completely straight. So I just checked all of them and four out of six of them had normal applicators and two of them had applicators that were just stick straight. So not really sure what's up with that, but this is the shade Lullaby. So right off the bat, I love that they have this kind of glossy, high shine finish. They look really flattering on the lips, so I think the claim that they are somewhat smoothing is pretty accurate. And as I get older, I always love products that kind of smooth over the lip lines. So M Cosmetics claims that this is a lightweight gloss serum gel hybrid with the luxurious comfort of a balm. And right now I have two layers on my lips because on the info card, you can see that they really built these up for high opacity and high shine finish. I totally agree with the fact that this is a lightweight gloss 
There is zero stickiness, zero tackiness, zero heaviness. So if you're someone who really doesn't like that kind of classic gloss texture, then this is something that you might really enjoy. Now you do really have to build it up to get that kind of shine and to get the color and to get that more balmy kind of texture, but I would disagree with them in that I don't feel that this is particularly a balmy formula. In fact, I think on the card they say, get enchanted by the most nourishing youthful lips you'll ever experience. I actually don't feel that these are very nourishing at all. I've been wearing the shade Temptress nonstop for the past week. It is like my new absolute favorite lip product. But when it wears off, I don't find that my lips feel any better than they did before. Whereas the M Cosmetics lip cushions have a much thicker, more occlusive formula. And those I find make my lips feel better than when I applied them. So given the claims that this will be one of the most nourishing formulas you've ever tried, I totally disagree with that. I think their lip cushions are way more nourishing. These to me are so much more of a lip oil lip serum hybrid than they are a gel-like serum gloss. I don't know what products they've been trying, but when I think of something that's a cross between a serum and a gel, I think of the Fit Glow lip serums. I think of the Make Serum Balms, the Rowan Liquid Lip Balms, the Beauty Pie Collagen Lip Oils. All of those products have a very gel-like feeling that coats the lips and almost grips them. To me, this is so much more like a light white oil. And I'll drop in another clip of the swatches on my arm because you'll be able to see what I'm talking about where you can see how thin and oily they are where the pigment kind of bleeds into my skin. I find that I really only get that kind of pigment bleeding effect when there's something that has a really thin high oil content. And while I don't have that issue on my lips, luckily, like there's no pigment bleeding around my lip lines. They don't seem to slide anywhere. They look beautiful on the lips. I did just want to show you what they look like on the arm so that you can really see the texture that I'm talking about. I just don't think that these are a gel serum hybrid and I don't think that they're particularly nourishing. But what they are are a beautiful lightweight kind of oil serum hybrid that has a high shine finish in a bunch of beautiful shades. I also really like the packaging. I love this white packaging. I think it's really chic. It's the kind of thing that I'm drawn to. And I like the fact that these have a kind of caramel Melson? Yeah, I would say caramel. It's something very, very sweet. So you have to like a very like sweet kind of nougat kind of smell. And if I were to compare this to something else, it feels the most like the Merit lip oils to me, although they look completely different on the lips. The Merit lip oils were a lot more sheer. They didn't have as much shine, so I would much prefer these. So let's go shade by shade. I'm wearing the shade Lullaby, which is a light neutral nude. And I would agree with that. It's not too cool toned, not too warm. It's pretty light and it's kind of like a slightly pinky beige. Now we have the shade Enchant, which is described as a warm light neutral. I wonder if they meant to write nude because a warm light neutral doesn't really make sense. Is it warm or is it neutral? So this one is remarkably similar to the first shade Lullaby. I guess this is just ever so slightly warmer than the previous shade, but I feel like between Lullaby and Enchant, there could have been a little bit more variation. Like it's really just so similar that I feel like there could have been something a little bit different, but they're both very pretty. Next we have the shade Dream, which is a peach nude. And again, I have that kind of wonky applicator. Dream is described as a peach nude, and I totally agree with that. I think a lot of people are gonna love this kind of shade. It's just like a little bit of a light coral, super pretty for summer. T is another one with a kind of weird applicator, and it's described as a caramel nude. I really like this shade. I don't feel like it's something I have in my collection. The undertone's a little bit different than what I normally see out there. I feel like it has a little bit more of a yellow content to it, and I find that kind of refreshing, so I think this is pretty nice. And then we have the shade Secret, which is described as a deep, warm nude. So when we get into the darker shades, Secret and Temptress, this is when I think the lip product shines, because one little layer, like I just did, kind of like blotted on the lips, you don't get that high shine finish and you don't get a little bit of the comfort that the product does provide. But I actually prefer the way that this looks with just like a little tiny bit of color. I feel like you get the best blotted lip effect. So this is one layer of secret and now let's build it up. You know, even with this applicator that is slanted, I just feel like I can't get my top lip. I'm gonna see if I can show you. So it's not slanted enough so that you can like get your whole lip. If you just put it on the top of your lip, you just get this little tiny point. 
And even for me with my small ass lips, it's like kind of hard to get the lip product on. So then I have to like push it up and then I get above my lip line or I have to push it to the side. So for me, the only real negative to the product is the applicator. But I really like this color. Secret is a warm, deep nude. And I think this would look good on a lot of people. Temptress though is my favorite. I, I can't stop wearing this. It lives in my purse and I like just doing a little blotted lip effect. So that's just one layer of the shade Temptress and I think it's like the best flushed looking lip I've ever seen. M Cosmetics describes it as a deep rose and I guess I can see that, but I feel like it's more. Like it's more muted, it's not quite as bright. Oh, it's so good, I love this color. So that's two layers of the shade Temptress and that's by far my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna put Lullaby back on. Oh my God, I hate when I'm filming and someone walks by the window, it's so awkward and she did not take her eyes off me. She was pushing a baby carriage and she was just like, Yes, girl, we're talking about lip gloss. Let's swatch them side by side. Lullaby, Enchant, Dream, Tea, Secret, and Temptress. Yeah, I feel like it's a great shade range, but just we need a little something different between these two. And lastly, these are $22. I feel like that's appropriately priced. Anything between 18 and 25 would have made sense to me for this brand. And I did check the website and I saw a couple reviews from people saying that these were not as nourishing as they expected. So I'm glad that I'm not the only person who feels like that. But all in all, I think it's a really nice launch and there's certainly a demographic for this product. So I think if you're looking for a lip product that's super lightweight, that doesn't have any stickiness or heaviness that can look either really natural with one sheer layer or really shiny and more pigmented with a couple layers and has a sweet scent and this is something that might work for you if you're someone who prefers a thicker more cushiony and occlusive formula and you want something that's more long-lasting and fragrance free then this product might not be for you what do you guys think of this launch I would love to know what you look for in a lip product are you in the more thin, lightweight kind of category or in the more like nourishing, thicker category. I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet review and if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.